Hello and welcome to another Captain Entertainment video. It's Art here with a book review for Desert Star, the latest Michael Connelly, Harry Bosch, and Renee Ballard Bosch Universe novel. It came out on November 8th and I basically sped through it. I love this series. I love how Harry, how Michael Connelly intertwines all these characters. Renee Ballard, um, Harry Bosch, and Mickey Howard all get a mention at least in this. Uh, the two main ones are of course Renee Ballard and Harry Bosch and their partnership, their de facto partnership kind of turns a little bit on its head this time as yes they're partners but they're more like in a way boss and subordinate and you wouldn't expect how I'll leave you to experience that and his way of interweaving dastardly narratives are awesome his way of wrapping up the main plot of the story two-thirds of the way through the book but leaving this one little th thread that you, he just tugs on at the end of that second third to just pull the rest of the book through is both all inspiring and amazing the book I actually listened to it mostly because um, I believe her name is Kristen Lake, so have to pardon me if it's not. Uh, actually, I can look it up, just give me one second. Uh, I can look it up real quick. But Titus Wolver uh, reads for Harry Bosch, and I believe her name is Kristen Lake, I want to say. Let me look it up real quick, and I'll let you know. But she reads the part of Renee Ballard, and they take turns, and whenever Bosch reads... Or Bosch is dominant in the chapter, Titus Wolver reads, and whenever Renee Ballard is dominant in the chapter, then she reads. However, if they are both in the chapter, then they both read their parts, which is ingenious in my opinion. Truly, truly, truly ingenious in my opinion. And I'm going to look to see what her name is too, real fast. It is uh, Christine Lakin. I was close. Christine, Christine Lakin. I was very close with that. But I also like how they put on uh, mutual, musical numbers, jazz numbers, to kind of separate each chapter. And there's kind of a, like a Bosch book theme that's a very quick book theme that's not related to the Amazon TV show. But... I kind of want to see Bosch Legacy bring in Renee Ballard and possibly spin off into a Renee Ballard show. But that's neither here nor there on that respect. Um, I think it is truly an amazing read. It's pulse pounding. It's a thrill ride. He even brings back old ancillary characters that haven't been seen in the books since the mid 90s books yes the Bosch books have been going on that long but they are good they are great and they are simply amazing and to see that character it was a real quick pullback for me having read all the Bosch books to this point and it was a real quick nod to longtime readers like myself so once you see those happen you'll see that Michael Connelly cares about new readers because he kind of goes into what the characters were, but it's really a nod to longtime, consistent, loyal readers as well. So he not only takes care of new readers, because new readers can enjoy the book and enjoy it to no end and a high esteem. But, and if you're a fan of the Bosch TV series, the Bosch books are even better. But I can tell you that he takes care of longtime loyal readers too. He's a master classman and a master skilled classman at his job and at the way he writes. It is truly and utterly amazing. It is a master class in jigsaw puzzle uh, spider web weaving mystery as you pull on each thread to get the job done. So it 
It's very good. And for that reason, it's a read and own it, love it on my scale. It's a five star read on the Goodreads scale. These books are getting better and better as I think Michael Connolly gets more tighter and crisper with his writing style and his writing language. It is arguably one of the best books I've read all of 2022 and it will probably have a place on the on the best books list at some point. Just fair warning, it's a best books nominee. But it is a book now the Bosch books and their name Beller books, The Late Show and all that need to be read in order. You kind of need to read all the Bosch books to fully understand the story and the and the engrossing nature and the encompassing nature of the narrative. However, it is good as a standalone book. But I would fully recommend, since you're on a booktube channel, you're on this channel, I would fully recommend you to invest the time and read the Michael Connelly novels in order as they go because you're going to get more and more out of his books as he continues to write them. That much I can tell you. So leave in the comments down below if you like Michael Connelly or whatever author you tend to like uh, best. Leave that in the comments down below and we can start a list of authors that write good long-running series. And until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 p.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please, please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And also remember that this week there is no CRU. I know what videos you're going to be getting, but I'm going to leave that a surprise for you. But until next time, happy reading. Happy Thanksgiving if you live in the U.S. too. I'll see you again soon. And peace.